Hi, Bruce Perry with Pro Sport Fisher. We're cranking through flies today at Caddis Fly, and uh, I'm gonna go depart from tubes today, and we're gonna tie in a SC15 saltwater hook. This is called, uh, I've been terming it, some burrow bait fish. It's a fairly full bait fish, and you'll find that uh, down in like Baja is where I like to fish. You wanna go anywhere from you know, low light with some flash in it, like that fully tied fly. Once the sun comes on the water, you want something a lot more sparse, so the fly is just ghosted with eyes. And uh, we're gonna tie a morning evening fly that's fairly full. This is on a three out hook. The overall length's about three and three quarter inches. And I'm starting with some GSP Vivas. And I'm going right back to the bend of the hook for our tail. And that'll help keep the fly from fouling as you're casting and fishing it and stripping it. First thing I'm gonna do is put on some Marble Fox White. Okay, so that sets up the length of your bait fish. And then uh, second part of the tail is some Olive Crystal Flash. We'll put five to six strands on either side. Fold it in half, get a tie-in point. Over the other side. So the bait fish belly is actually tied on top of the hook, and that's another key, I think, to keeping them from fouling. That looks pretty good. They're all uneven. They're not going to clump. And like I said, when you get a fully tied bait fish with low light in the morning, cloud cover, um, it's really good to catch fish with mornings and evenings down in Baja. Uh, sunnier days you want to go with something a little more ghosty and a little more translucent when you dive with the bait fish all you'll see is a bait fish shape like a ghost and a big eyeball so you want to vary up your color offerings and you want to vary up how fully they're tied but this is a good one so as a secondary tail we're just going to get that you know either you either go blue white or gray white or brown white for a mullet or chartreuse white so we're going to layer in color as we move forward on the fly and again, I'm using Pro Arctic Marble Fox. This is going to be gray. This one naturally doesn't have a whole lot of guard hair, so it's good without pulling any. And this is going to be a little shorter than the tail for that first piece. Yep, that looks good. I'm going to create my tie-in point. A couple of soft wraps. I'm going to try to wiggle up the top of the hook. This GS3 pred, GSP thread you can really crank on as well. As I'm doing this, we'll just run a comb through everything and keep everything loosened up. Now these are going to look like a mess when you tie them. They really don't look good until you wet them the first time and they start to take that bait fish shape. This is, uh, is this Sinyo's chromatic brush yes. through, yes. was it Hairline? Mm. Really a cool product. And what's EP. going on here? EP. Sinyo's, yeah. Sinyo's. It looks like a natural fiber with some flash in it. Uh, works great for lots of different reasons. It's, it's excellent for this bait fish. I used to spend the time with my dubbing loop machine and make these, but you know, purchasing these things pre-done really speeds things up. This is an awesome, awesome product. So sweep and wrap, and these aren't really tight wraps or touching wraps. I'm just leaving a, a little bit of space between each run, each wrap. We'll comb that out in a second. There's two full turns. We're moving forward to about the halfway point on the shank. So I'm just calling this the rear body. And it's a long enough fiber to fill the bait fish out, but not so long that it's going to foul and get nasty. Good product, Greg Senio. Kudos. Put a few firm wraps on there. Don't use your scissors to cut wire. We're in a hurry, so I did it. Bend that metal base back, tie over it for durability. And we're just going to pick that out and comb it a bit. There we go. Okay, so the middle wing, we're going to add another gray Arctic Marble Fox. And that's going to be just a little bit shorter than the back end again, so something like that. Let me get that tie-in point. Now this one, this tie-in, I'm going to try to envelop kind of the top half of the hook. So I'm going to kind of push those buds down in there 
into the hook and get that to roll around just a bit. I don't want it to go 360. Push on that just a hair. And that's going to give me a bait fish change in the lateral line or at the lateral line. Top half gray, bottom half white. Okay, right, there we go. Lateral scale olive. You can go with the white stuff or the skinny stuff. We'll use three pieces or so. Don't need a ton. The brighter the conditions, generally the less flash. The lower light conditions, let those fish find the fly with some flash. Those are going to be the longest. You can adjust that on the fly. Okay, back to the chromatic brush. This is cool. I've tied uh, how many brushes coming in pack, Chris? Three, I think. Two or three. Might be more than that, actually. We've got five flies off one brush. This one's going to toast it finally, but you get a good amount of uh, material in each brush. Again, not really packing the wraps tight. Not even really touching. Just a little space between each wrap. And that forward. Now don't go to right behind the eye. You'll see that when we finish this fly with a Pro Sport Fisher soft head. Why we do that. So I've left a good eighth inch or so of hook shank. God, I hate doing that with my scissors. <laughs> They'll make more, right? Okay, now we're going to pick that out real quick. Boom. Boom. There we go. The thing really looks like a mess until you get it wet and lay it on a paper towel and dry it the first time or throw it in the water. Okay, that's good. Okay, this front wing, that's going long. Almost the whole deal. It's on top. It's going to help the bait fish track when you're stripping it. It shouldn't foul up here. Forward, forward, back, 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 back. Come through that. Again, this is a three out bait fish, and you want to pick your head appropriate to not close the gap. So, we're going to go three out SC15 with a size medium head when we finish here. And you'll see why when we're done. If you close the gap, it'll probably just jump right out of fish's mouth when they're trying to eat it. This is silver holographic angel hair, just a light pinch on either side. I'm going to fold it in half. You have all these different links, which is great. That's going to kind of set up the lateral line on the fly. Pull that back, double over it, done. One more small pinch. Fold it in half, opposite side. Things are starting to happen in here with some customers. And that's right down the middle on the lateral line. That's good. Last step, we're going to do a little shorty to fill out the bait fish head. Get rid of the shorties without the flea comb. There we go. These guys. Yeah, yeah. May further fix that when we're done here. Backwards. That looks pretty good. Put a little bit of zap for durability and then whip it. Okay. 
So, um, Pro Sports Fisher about a year and a half ago came out with a injection molded intermediate fly line material bait fish head. They come extra small, small, medium, and large. The medium seems to be a really good size for a three out hook. It was designed for tubes, but it stretches because it's intermediate fly line material. And basically, what that does is it doesn't give flotation like plastic would, it doesn't help sink, you get neutral buoyancy, and they work on regular hooks too. You just pop it right over the top. Then we're going to add some six millimeter eyes, and uh, when we get done, it's going to look something like that. Others I like to go down to Mexico with olive over white, ginger over white, chartreuse over white, blue over white. So you've got sardinas, mullet, lighter colors, darker colors, and uh, I like to vary the sizes. I'll go a little smaller on a one out hook, as big as I can on a four out hook. There you go. Thanks for taking a look.